I am Vapor Anthony with Vapor Anthony Vape Reviews. Today, doing something for Karak Vapes, who have been very good to me over the years. I'm a loyal customer of theirs. Also, Eye of Horus. Um, I recommend you guys go on the Eye of Horus Facebook page. Really fun group, man. Um, always happy to get new faces on that page. Real fun group, some teasing, some cool contests from time to time, uh, and just like silly themes of the day, pocket dump and this and that. Uh, they have a lot of fun on that page, and they're very welcoming, so I recommend you get on that page uh, if you're not already a member. Uh, Karak Vape, I'm so glad to be doing something for Karak because that's my favorite company to order from. They are in Canada, I'm in the United States, in New Jersey. That's where all of my online vape purchases go to Karak Vape. Uh, they even have the shipping figured out. I, I've never paid more than $5 to have something shipped to me. Uh, they, they took care of the flat rates and everything. It's been a great experience, so I'm really happy to be doing this review for them today. Uh, what is on the docket for today is Telemasca by Eye of Horus, and um, I'm going to be using the stacked evil twin that is by death wish mods um the lg hg6 i have two of those in here going to be going on um my coils are the claptons the series claptons by dps metalworks uh these are available at Karak as well and these are two 28 gauge cores and 36 ribbon wrapped around them and um, I get great flavor off these really affordable sticks and uh, it's nice to be able to customize with them um, so this flavor Telemasca is a very interesting flavor um, it is a black cherry tobacco with bourbon and as a part-time e-liquid mixer you usually don't have the guts to touch really any of those flavors. Um, the cherry, black cherry, it can be too medicinal tasting. Tobacco is usually too sweet, like the RY4s and that stuff, usually way too sweet. And bourbon, you know, I was so afraid that this juice was going to be too boozy, like a too heavy on the booze taste. I, I was wrong. All three of them work beautifully with each other so uh, I think you have to have a little bit of guts to make this juice to begin with but I think you had to have a lot of expertise and there's probably a lot of trial and error but in my opinion it's been perfected um, so yeah check out the Eye of Horus Facebook page um, Karak Vape is as good as it gets with customer service they say superior vape mail they mean it I've never I've never once just gotten what I ordered from those guys. There's always, they always personalize it, man. They always, their customer service is what sets them apart. So go to crackvape.com to check that out. I'm going to be juicing up with this Telemasca. And um, I'll be going down to juice those up, come back up to vape on it, tell you what it tastes like. And um, I encourage you to fill your cart with it because uh, the first time I ordered it, I ordered one bottle to give it a shot and I thought to myself, oh my God, I have to wait a couple more days as soon as I kick this bottle. So uh, let's check. Gonna begin to juice this up. Anything you see in frame is available at Karak Vapes. If you like uh, the looks of this drip tip, that is DPS Metalworks tips believe the red that I have, the transparent red, is Series 2. The coils that I'm dripping on are also DPS, very affordable, always available on their site. And Crack always just throws you little goodies. That's what they mean by superior vape mail. And I can smell this juice, man. It smells the way it tastes. I believe this is a 70 VG, 30 PG, just by the way it vapes. Taste a little bit of the sweetness from the VG. Easily one of my favorite juices. 
So once I get this all steamed up, primed up on the uh, Evil Twin Stack by Death Wish mods, take it up top and give it a vape. All right, so I am going to juice this up a little bit further. Give it a couple of uh, button pumps and uh, make sure that it's wicking nicely for me. This is a powerful mod. And you can hear those DPS sticks. They are churning out some flavor and they're churning out some clouds. Like I said, I'm pretty sure that this is a 70-30 blend just from like the uh, vapor production that it gives off and that there's uh, some sweet notes from the VG. This is about ready to vape, man. And it is, um, where I live, it's it's uh, quarter to 11 on a weeknight as, as I make this video. And um, I stopped drinking years ago. Obviously, don't smoke cigarettes. I've been vaping for six years. And, like, my girl's asleep. Uh, my four-year-old, my four-month-old, everybody's snoozing. Like, this is, this is kind of my time to enjoy the quiet and this is usually what I go for at night is I go for the Talamaskets. Um, they describe it as a rugged blend of the black cherry and the bourbon and I agree but it's just it's got like uh, like just some some masculine taste to it you know like this is easily one of my favorite juices and I have had thousands and thousands of juices with all the samples that were sent to me over the years as a company owner so um, Let's hit it up. Try to take like a uh, a longer exhale so I can appreciate the flavors more. You know, take my time instead of just blowing it out. It's not a cloud competition. This is delicious juice. not described on the correct site but there's a certain tanginess that I get from this juice as well I don't know if it's the um, the cherry like a tart or a tanginess from the cherry but it's smoothed out by sweetness as well it's it's just a really interesting and complex vape and I, I pick up like smoky undertones excuse me i don't think that, that any type of a um, smoke concentrate was added to it or maybe just in my head i'm so used to pairing like a uh, a rugged tobacco and a rugged bourbon with like a smoky undertone but I, i'm telling you i get that bit of taste in, in uh, the middle of my tongue the tanginess is up front delicious delicious juice and just so different from probably anything that you've ever vaped. Uh, like I said, I like to use this in my in a dripper in in an in an RDA at night. Um, at work, I usually um, am running some type of a tank, isolation tank, or something along those lines. But at night, um, I like something a little more rugged, a little more pronounced, a little more flavorful. You know, um, and I have used this as an all-day vape. Many a times I've done uh, tanks full of this, but I also feel like it's something that I can look forward to and appreciate, sort of like an after-dinner drink is, is what it reminds me of. You know, uh, I, I really get geeky with this stuff and, and take uh, vaping seriously. I believe it saved my life. It's made me a lot of friends, and uh, it's one of the reasons I really try to promote the Eye of Horus um, Facebook page. They, they treat you good in there, man. You feel like family with those guys. And um, can't say enough about it. So please go to crackvape.com and uh, give this juice a shot. Um, they just redid their website. Real easy to navigate. A whole lot of new and exciting uh, products. Every, everything under the sun they had. They go from, from pods to Nick Salts to... Uh, regulated, unregulated, stacked, tube, box, like just, you know, anything under the sun that's high quality and vape, they got it for you with uh, great pricing. I believe regular price, um, Eye of Horus is available um, in the 60 mil. I believe it's $22.60 um, in U.S. dollars, 
but there's also a little flag icon at the bottom of their page that you can click on to um, put it to your monetary donation. Um, just real easy site to use. And like I said, I've never once ordered from Karak and gotten what I paid for. Like there's always a little extra surprise to let you know that they appreciate you. They, they just always throw something cool.